you? So, how are you liking Blood Harvest? Is it good? Is it bad? It's impossible to tell because humans are so fucking weird that their bar for quality isn't even in the same stratosphere as us. I just watched this movie and start crying because it terrifies me deep in my soul. Something is wrong with humans. Something is very wrong with humans. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns, isn't that enough? I'm asking for real, I really don't know. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh, another Gatlian, that's fantastic! That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. I'm home! Oh, oh, wonderful. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Detective mode? Hey, what's so skinny on this giblets, fella? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Very keen of you, Slam. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? And two and two makes four. Let's do what the suit says, kid. Uh, are we getting a divorce? Because that's, really that's where I draw the line. All right, listen. We are getting a divorce. Oh, you finally brought me out again. Well, what, did I offend you or something earlier? Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. Hey, uh, hey tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Because I have this weird genital thing. But What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! You see it this way. Now I'm gonna turn, and you see it this How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! With the, the drug guys? No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't know and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors. So let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. <laughs> What is with this crowd? Every time I yeah, see you, it in. Makes my day. Can't you use some other gate? Oh, look at this. 
Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums just cause High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. They're all sheeple, you know. A bunch of mindless fanboys and drug addicts. But hey, what's the difference, am I right? Come on, I'm doing really great social commentary over here. You want to go to the Hyperbong Midnight Lunch too? So you're a sheeple, just like them. Hey pal, whatever floats your boat. I'm sure the crowd will die down soon too. Just open the gates! I don't want to miss the Hyperbong 6 Midnight Launch at High on Life! Hey, uh, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet! Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk, but no cracks about my name. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blurdo and mention Michael Taint. Bounty Hunter, you look hungry. Let me help you out. Hey, what's up, Lordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Wow! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S rank interrogation! Okay. Oh, hey, honey. How's it going? Uh, it's going on. Oh, it's you. Oh, that hurt my feelings they again? Like... Leave them alone. Hey, you poor hey what's up, best friend? Don't wake in that crowd full of nerds. You head right on through. Shit, thank you. New high on life store? Oh, yeah. Hey, the slums hey, are a little more chill uh, now that we took out Nine Torg. Hey, to talk you heard you're asking guy. around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh, shit. It's you. The bounty hunter's back. Everyone, get him. Nice to see you, good partner. You had it for me!
ta mort. It really came at us. That's how you know we're on the right trail. And they said they were with the G3 now. Let's get moving to find high on life. down here in the sludge, huh? Sniping at us? How many of these assholes do they have?
All right, that, that, that's got to be the high on life store. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. I'm a big Ice Bomb fan. I love buying Ice Bombs. I've got 20 of them already. I need the new hyperbong. You don't understand. This isn't hey, like... Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut thing. lines. It's the rules like, do not apply uh, to the I'm law. I'm addicted to drugs. Okay, okay. Welcome to High On Life Store number 7923, your local hyperbong superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Illegal? No, 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 not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Oh man, this again. Look man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store, or who built it, or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume, I got this manager gig, I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like, I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though, I don't really know where he is. What? I told you, I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your Hyperbong? Oh, I'm so excited you asked! A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that! Oh, uh, 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 hello, uh, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. 
Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not to mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbon 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened. So uh, i only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because like I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Thanks for connection. Open your eyes Holy shit, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. I don't know really why I liked him so much. Much. Yeah, that's fine. You could totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and, and they're the only way out of here, well, you know? Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots.
Oh, uh, you're back. Do you need somebody to go with you? Hey, you got a peso? It'd be so cool if you could just give me like a hundred pesos. Have you have you ever eaten your own poop? Because you know it, it gets hard, it gets tough down here in the slums. That's where it, sometimes you gotta just eat. You gotta do it. I mean, I don't have to. I have. Well, okay. Ne I, I'll see you next time, or I'll be dead, maybe. Can't you use some other gate? Like, uh, like in the fetish way? Like, uh, uh, cuckold? No. I think it's fun. What do you mean? What do you mean it's fun? I, I, what, what's funny about that? Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. Oh, great. You fuckers again. Don't worry. They're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little walk trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh, shit, yeah. Let's go see what Clug's been up to. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Oh, enough pleasantries. Let's keep this moving. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're gonna blast them to pieces with or without you, but we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Got it, that's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah, and then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey! I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. Fuck yeah, let's go kill Dr. Giblets. You're doing great work. Thanks for helping oh our boy, dad. We, got a touchy we love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. I caught one of those human movies recently. The Godfather. Holy moly, Stromboli, that movie was good. 
Bam! Boom! Francis Ford Coppola, he's back, baby! This is where our dad works. He's a really hard worker. Someday all this will be ours. But not soon. He should only live and be well. How about this office, huh? This is where our dad works. Someday it'll be where we work. Well, that's not how politics works, but you get the idea. Genetics occasionally skips a generation. We may not look like him, but we like him. You know, we've been tailing you for a while. Next time you play the game, look for us. You won't see us unless we want you to, because we're in stealth mode. Know what that means? Gotta hand it to Clug. He showed us where Giblets is. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Like things have developed in a sort of weird way over here. Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. At first we were scared. How did we end up here? Where were we? Should we leave our highway? And it turns out the answers in order as I asked them were, I don't know, I don't know. And definitely not. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. Youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphaltia tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be honest, actually. 
Hey, I'm not even that much younger than everyone else. I'm 45 years old. I just happen to be the youngest by a couple of months. We're just right floating around in your guts real quick. <laughs> some sort of miniature town? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Hubie, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> We're a nice, peaceful society full of cute little one-inch tall... Oh, fantastic! You've decided to take a look around Little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything Little Cutie Town has to offer. I guarantee it. As soon as you walk away, I'm gonna be so depressed I just pop a gun in my own head and I die. I'm just gonna fucking die. How's that sound? No more living for me. I don't want to be alive. My whole town and home is gone and dead and you did it. It's your fault. I know I invited you in, but you should have realized you're so big. You're gonna ruin things. You should have told me. I didn't think about it. I'm kind of dumb sometimes, but you're you're not as dumb as me, I, I assume, so you should have said, hey, I'm not gonna go in there. I don't want to stomp on shit like a big Godzilla. Not for me. Not, not what I want to do with my life. I don't want to go kill everybody. That's what you should have said. Instead, you just did it. You walked in and you knocked over entire buildings. Everyone's dead now. I am, I am so sad. 
I'm so fucking sad right now. I know that I, I mostly I'm just yelling, but if you if you let me just calm down for a second, which I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna calm down right now. I am so fucking sad. I'm so fucking depressed now. Do you have a, can, just shoot me, shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die, so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out. Whoa, Jesus. I wasn't sure if you were gonna actually kill him. Poor guy. You know, maybe it was the right thing to do. Take a big duty. And I'm just sitting here at the bottom of the pipes. No reason. What the fuck? Come on, you can do it. Just shoot the pipes and make them spin so I can make a big pipe to get this turd out of me. And stat. All right, well, I guess we're officially helping with this. So hungry. I'm starving. This is gonna be amazing. Oh, oh, you're gonna do it? Oh, you'll help us? You're making our dream come true. You're gonna help me put a big hot cream brown dump right into my best friend's mouth. Oh, this is really swell of you, stranger. This has gotta be the nicest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, uh, when it's completed, I'm gonna spray my hot, stinky duty all over my body. Oh, he's gonna be covered in it. Yum! Yum, yum, yum! I can't eat it. I, if I eat my own duty, I'll die. I wish I could. You ever eaten your friend's shit? No? You just now. It's the best. You know, I've been saving this caca up for a long time. Well over a year now. This one's gonna be A. Oh God, yeah, you're almost there. Oh, you're gonna do it. Oh man, you're so close. And so am I. You're a genius. How'd you get so good at solving shit-eating puzzles? Well, they're really just pipe puzzles. You did it! You did it! Oh man! Here we go. You ready, pal? Uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah. It's coming. Oh god. I I, I don't want to watch. That's the stuff. Keep it coming. Thank you. Thank you, traveler. We'll never forget you. You saved everything. Are you familiar with the butterfly effect? The butterfly will flap its wings, and years later a hurricane will brew. You have no idea the consequences that you've unleashed upon the galaxy. Good luck. Good luck. Everyone in a game makes a choice. This is one of those story games where little decisions mean big impacts later. Who knows what NPCs will die because you let me shit into the pipes into my friend's mouth. You're a real savior unless this is set into motion some kind of terrible outcome. You'll never know. I guess you'll have to play this again and choose not to let me shit into my friend's mouth. And maybe you won't hear the song. Oh no, replayability. Mm, goodbye. Let's do a cool down 
no blood? Oh, what a fucking ripoff. You were done with me! Somebody needed our help back. Uh, oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. We stumbled across another body. It looked like a classic case of... Hey, what happened to you? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A G3 base. That can only mean one thing. Not sure what, though. Oh, God. 
Oh God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Do they still have a chance of survival? Who's to say? No way to know. Not even with all the blood and half their body missing. We weren't going anywhere until it was over. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. And I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Uh. And just like that, another candle is snuffed out in the wind. So cool. What's going on? Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You you promised me to stay. Hey, hey, thanks for coming back. Are you really dying? You, you, you sound fine now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh, I'm dying. No, I'm actually, oh, not for real this time, though. Oh, my God. Oh, stay. Don't go anywhere. Stay with me. Thank you. Oh, here, here I go. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> All right, shit. I, I, I guess that's it, then. Hey, hey, what the fuck? You left me again. I'm, I'm not- You leave me again. I swear to God, I'm gonna kill myself. I thought you were already dying. Oh, whoops, whoops. Never never mind. I, 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 I'm really- I'm really dying now. Now this- Oh, for real. This, but this time is the real one. Oh, good. Good. I can feel it. Oh, fuck. Oh, this really hurts. Good. Good. Goodbye. Hey. Oh, oh. Okay, this time it's gotta be real. Let, 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 let's just get out of here. It's, it's depressing. Hey, hey, guys, I'm still alive. You need to come back here and stay with me. I'm, I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I, I don't think I'm gonna die. But I am so disappointed in you for leaving me in my time of need when you explicitly promised you wouldn't. Listen, we've got places to be. It's important. Can we just wrap this up? Oh, no, wait. I, I'm dying for real now. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. Two steps away, I swear. Oh shit, I guess he really did finally die. Y you still alive, man? Y you're not just pranking us or something, right? Uh, I, I guess, I guess, I guess it's, I guess, I guess it's, that's that then. Y you had to do it. Y you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse with a broken leg, y you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? Y you following here? <laughs> 